The recent Comixology upgrade has caused a lot of people to go to Google and type in Comixology alternatives. And it has caused a lot of websites to see this as a trending keyword and quickly push an article out to their website to answer that topic. How many different websites are there available where you can get the same kind of things you get from Comixology? And the simple answer is no such single place exists. The comics industry has once again focused on one channel and managed to screw itself over. I'm not saying Comixology is dead. I'm not saying you should boycott Comixology. None of that stuff. I think most of this stuff, as I mentioned last time, will work itself out. However, it is kind of scary that the comics industry, from a digital perspective, once again has adopted the bust factor of one scenario. We have one player on the scene, and if they go down, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. People have complained about Diamond being a monopoly for years until suddenly they weren't. But very few people complained about Comixology being a monopoly for years, even though they were. And really, they continue to be. But the thing I wanted to talk about today is I read through a lot of those links that Google gives you for alternatives to Comixology. And the articles are pretty much all the same thing. They point out the fact that there is no alternative to Comixology. That the best you can hope for is get the Marvel Unlimited subscription, which puts you three months back or so. Uh, the DC, whatever their unlimited version is that they have. And then there are some other side stores you can get some stuff from. Humble Bundle has a lot of offers over the course of a year that could fill you up with so much to read, you could never possibly catch up. But conspicuous in its absence, for me at least, is the fact that only one link, and it was a Reddit thread, it wasn't an actual article that someone had researched and, and written up about, only one article, and it wasn't an article, it was a Reddit thread, has mentioned isneo.com, I-Z-N-E-O.com, which I recently wrote about on PipelineComics.com. See the link in the show notes, of course. And it's made me think a bit, a bit about it. isneo has been around for a number of years now. I think, I forget the exact year they were founded, but I want to say close to 10 years, at least six. It's between six and 10. They were founded in Europe to be sort of the European version of Comixology. A bunch of publishers in France came together and put this thing together so there's a digital storefront for their comics. They have a store filled with French comics and Dutch comics and German comics and lots of English comics as well. All the Europe comics translations of Franco-Belgian comics, the albums that have been translated to English, are available there. Pretty much, but not exactly, the entire library of titles you may have seen on Comixology are also available on Isneo. Again, from the translated European album's perspective. But nobody seems to know about them. I link to them at the bottom of every review I've ever written. I link to them on Twitter. But no one seems to know they exist. It's remarkable to me. So I am on a complete... Tirade? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, a hunt to make sure everyone knows about this. Uh, uh, what's the word? A crusade. That's It's more like a crusade, which has some weird overtones. But Isneo exists, people. I-Z-N-E-O dot com exists. If you want European comics, go there. And if you like smaller English, American publishers, Dark Horse, IDW, and Boom, they are there as well. No, they can't replace Comixology. Nobody can because nobody else has Marvel and DC books besides Marvel having Marvel books and DC having DC books on their own services. This is the world we live in now. No one wants to have a centralized service. Look at the streaming wars. See how things are, are coming up on your own TV screen. You've got freaking Paramount has its own app, for goodness sake. Fox has Peacock. Netflix is scrambling to create more and more of its own shows because they can't keep other publishers' shows around because they go off into their own apps. Hello, HBO. Hello, Disney+. Plus. The same thing is coming true with digital comics. So you're going to have to learn to subscribe to multiple services or maybe have multiple libraries from different apps. And I'm just saying, give Isneo a try. Yes, their app looks about as old as Comixology's original app looked and felt, but the reading experience is fine. The reading experience, the, the issue comes up full page on your iPad. You can swipe or tap to go to the next page. It's got guided view for most of the comics. 
if that's the way you like to read, which if you do, I, I, I have questions for you. Does it make sense to me? Maybe on an iPhone it makes sense if you had to read something. But Comixology and Isneo have a lot in common, except Isneo isn't owned by Amazon and isn't going to be ripped asunder by that. So, Pat and Oswalt, I'm telling you right now, if you want to read something I've reviewed recently on PipelineComics.com, the odds are pretty good. You will find it in the Isneo app. And as a bonus, you can purchase that comic inside the iPad app. They do offer in-app purchases which means they have an in-app purchase list that must be thousands of lines long. Yikes. They also have a subscription service. If you want to try a bunch of European titles, I forget, it's like $7.99, $8.99 a month, something like that. Pay for it for a month. I think they give you a 7- or 10-day trial first, but you know, buy a month's worth. Take a look around. Read some things. Educate yourself. Maybe you'll find something new. Maybe you'll find something that you like. And if you do, then maybe you want to start buying those books. Or maybe you just want to keep subscribing because you don't need to keep those things. Either way, Isneo has that for you. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, to tell you the truth. But there's no accent there, so I don't think it's Isneo. I'm going with Isneo for now. I hope you'll join me. I have an account there. I read most of my European albums through that app. They've been very kind to me that way. And it's a great service. And yes, again, the app is not exactly, you know, the most up-to-date fancy app in the world, but it does get the job done. And you can download comics to it as well. They're not DRM free, but at least you can read them offline. If you're going to take a train trip, something that you're more likely going to do in Europe than you are here in America. But if you're doing that, if you're going to be somewhere offline, if you're in a cabin in the middle of the woods somewhere, you can download all those comics locally to your heart's content, I think, and read them offline later. So give it a try. That's all I have to say today. I-Z-N-E-O.com. It can't replace Comixology, but can fill in a few gaps if you're determined to get away from them, or if you just want to mix things up and have things spread across multiple services so you don't lose it all in one big go eventually, which I also don't think is really going to happen, but you never know. So give it a shot and check out my, my full in-depth look at isneo.com on the website at pipelinecomics.com today. Thank you for listening. I'm Augie Bleak Jr. and I'll talk to you again real soon.